Amen. Great to see everybody today. My name's John. I get to serve as the executive pastor here at Peace, and it's my privilege also to get just a couple of quick minutes here to talk about the meaning of baptism and talk about the gospel, which is at the very center of what we're doing today. All right. So I'm just going to share for a few minutes here, and then we'll get to the main event here of getting to baptize some families. Praise the Lord. It's an awesome time to get to celebrate together. Cool. Well, hey, at the very center of what we're doing today is something called the gospel. And gospel means good news, but it actually starts with some bad news. The Bible has bad news and good news for us today. The bad news the Bible shares is that you and I are created by a God who is holy, who is perfect, who is just. And yet you and I have fallen into sin. Romans chapter 3 says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The Bible tells us that God has a perfect standard. He himself is the standard of perfection and that we have fallen short. And that no matter how hard we try, we can't earn our way into God's good graces. We can't work hard enough to be good enough to earn our way into heaven. Uh, Sometimes I've thought about it this way. The the Bible verse says that we've fallen short. It's kind of like if we were trying to jump across something and we couldn't make it. Uh, Do you guys, does anybody know how far across Lake Michigan it is from here to the other side? Oh, I heard it right there, 80 miles. It's exactly 80 miles. If you go to Holland and you try to jump across Lake Michigan, 80 miles across. Uh, Let's see who we got in the room here uh, today that's excited about jumping. Scott, how far could you jump if you jumped off the pier in Holland? Six feet. There it is. All right. Six feet. Let's see. Let's see who else we got who could make a, who could make a great jump here today. Uh, Mr. Larry Stauffer, how far could you jump if we went to the end of the pier? Six inches. Okay. Well, hey, I appreciate the honesty. That's, that's really good. I like that. Awesome. So let's say that Larry and Scott both go to Holland and we have a competition and we say, who can jump across Lake Michigan? Okay. And they both run and jump and Scott gets six feet and Larry gets six inches. Okay. So there's a little bit of a difference there. Now let me ask, did anybody actually make it across? No. It's to see the kids know the answer right away. They didn't hold back. The answer is no, nobody made it across. Even though one made it farther than the other, nobody crossed the standard. Nobody crossed the finish line. And the same is true with us and God. We might look around a room and say, well, I'm better than that person over there. I'm better than the murderer on television, or I'm better than that person over there. But the reality is that all of us have fallen short of God's standard of perfection. None of us can earn our way into favor with God. But there's good news in the gospel. Romans chapter 6 says, The wages of sin is death. All of us deserve death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. All of us have sinned. We all deserve eternal death, which is hell. And yet Jesus came to live perfectly like we couldn't, to die for death or to die for sin like we should have, and to be raised to new life so that we could have life by putting our faith in him. That's the good news that we're here to celebrate this morning in baptism. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Awesome. So baptism is a sign and seal of that truth and that promise. That just as water washes dirt from the body, so Jesus' blood washes the sin from our hearts so that we can be with him now and forever. That's the good news. And so I want to let let you know a couple of things. Number one, I want to just say baptism does not save neither child nor adult. So what we do here, the water is not magic. It doesn't save people. What saves people is faith in Jesus. And the promise that we receive here is this, that those who are adults and are making their profession of faith, they've already put their faith in Jesus. Those who are children, they're growing up in a family that is sitting under the preaching of the word week in and week out. They are receivers of those promises. Those kids one day are going to have to put their faith in Jesus on their own in order to receive the fullness of that promise. It's a conditional promise that, hey, this sign is true, that for all who put their faith in Jesus, they will receive everlasting life. And those kids are receiving the sign, and they one day have to live into that by having their own faith in Jesus. So that's what we get to celebrate and signify today. Awesome. Hey, I want to invite uh, the first group of families that are receiving baptism this morning to make their way up. Why don't you guys line up along the wall here in the order that we talked about already. And Ryan and Lindsay Kerstetter are going to be reading uh, the testimonies or the stories that these families have shared with us. So as each of them makes their way up here, you'll get to hear some of their story and testimony that brought them here today. Let me pray for us as we get started. Father God, we give you all the glory and praise today. This is all about the glory of the cross. 
all about what Jesus has done for us to save us from sin and death. So God, may you receive all the glory today for what's about to happen. And God, I pray that you would just bless this room with joy and worship as we celebrate baptism. God, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Josh and Lindsay Brander and their little one, Parks Wallen Brander. My wife and I know that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Yes, by his grace we are saved. It is a blessing that we both grow up in a strong Christian homes, being taught about Jesus dying on the cross and taking our place for the punishment we deserve. In return for that, he gave us a promise that someday we get to be in heaven with Jesus if we put our faith in him. With the faith we both have, we can't help but want to share it with our child. We want nothing more than for him to grow up knowing the love of Jesus and the promises and salvation that come through him. Parks may be our child, but he is also a child of God. We will strive to raise him in a loving Christian home along with a solid church community, a church community where we continue to learn more and more about God and also be stewards of the gifts God has given us and serve the people of this community as well. Parks, you are the firstborn in our family and we are so blessed to be your parents. To know that God designed you perfectly for us is something that is hard to wrap our minds around. Today, we get to baptize you into the family of God. We pray that we teach you to know and love the Lord with your whole heart. We pray that we can raise you up to share the goodness of God to all those you meet. You are such a light in our life, in our life and we pray you can spread your light all around with Jesus by your side. We love you, Parks Wallen. Love mom and dad. Amen. Amen. Well, Parks, we're so glad to have you here. You can't tell, but he's sleeping right now. Love it. The only people we see sleeping in church are the very youngest and the very oldest occasionally. But we're going to give him a little rude awakening here with a sweet time of baptism. So, Josh and Lindsay, I'm going to ask you a couple of vows. And if you agree, just say we do. So, Josh and Lindsay, do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, promising to live as his followers and members of Christ's church? And do you acknowledge Park's need for the cleansing blood of Jesus, promising to help him, pray for him, and instruct him in the way of the Lord? Well, with that, Parks, Wallen, Brander, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for Josh and Lindsay, and we thank you for this beautiful gift that you've entrusted him. We thank you for Park's life, and we look forward to the day, praying God desperately that someday he would realize the fullness of this conditional promise that he would place his faith in Jesus. We pray that you would help us as a church to help this family get there. We love you, Jesus, and we thank you for Park's, and we pray this in your name. Amen. Trevor and Paige DeHaan and their twins, Crew Daniel and Ren Marie. God has answered our prayers with the birth of our twins. Throughout our struggles, we turn to our faith to get us through. We are blessed to be able to baptize our children, raise them in the church, and know they are saved by the grace of God. 3 John 1.4 says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Amen. This is a good picture. I I would guess what your life is like. You got your hands full all the time. Love it. Well, it is my double privilege and honor to get to baptize your kids this morning. So let me ask you guys, Trevor and Paige, do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, promising to live as his followers and members of his church? And do you acknowledge Crew and Wren's need for the cleansing blood of Jesus, promising to help them to pray for them, and to instruct them in the way of the Lord. Right. We're going to do Crew first, even though I've heard he's younger by two minutes here. But Crew, Daniel, Dahan, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son (laughs) and the Holy Spirit. We'll pray for you both after we baptize Sister Wren here. I'll come over here, Wren. Hi. Well, Wren Marie Dahan, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Let's pray for the Dahans here. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this incredible blessing you've given the Dahans. Thank you for Crew and Ren. We just pray that you would help us as a church to walk with them as these parents raise their two beautiful children to someday come to know and follow you. We pray to follow you for all the days of their lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks, God. Austin and Medri Megan Frederick and their little one, Kinsley James. Both of us were baptized as infants and grew up in loving Christian families. We've come to know Jesus Christ as our Savior and have professed that in church at different times in our lives. We will continue to seek God's wisdom for ourselves so that we can be good role models for our daughter. We are so grateful that God placed Kinsley into our family and for the opportunity to raise her alongside his family, the church. Amen. Well, Austin and Megan, I'm gonna read a couple of vows to you. If you agree, just say we do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, promising to follow him and be members of his church? And do you acknowledge Kinsley's need for the cleansing blood of Jesus, promising to teach her, to help her, and to pray for her all the days of her life? Amen. Well, with that, Kinsley, James, Frederick, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's pray for the Fredericks and for Kinsley James. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this beautiful family. We thank you for blessing them with Kinsley. And Lord, we just pray now for her, as you already know all the days of her life, you can look ahead and see all the wonderful and beautiful plans you have for her. God, we just pray that you would be walking with her family and with this church family as we point her towards Jesus. We love you, and we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Adam and Kaylee Harima. Adam and Kaylee Harima, and their daughter, Lyndon Joy Harima. We are so thankful that God chose us to be Lyndon's parents and plan to lean on him for wisdom and strength as she goes throughout her life. We both grew up in Christian homes and attending church on a regular basis. We have experienced firsthand what it's like to have a church family supporting and praying for us throughout our life and want the same thing for our daughter. We know that Lyndon is our gift from God, but that she is ultimately his. And we are committed to do everything we can to love her and encourage her to be the woman God created her to be. Well, Lyndon is wide awake right now. She's ready, huh? Well, Adam and Kaylee, do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord? promising to live as his followers and as members of Christ's church? And do you acknowledge Lyndon's need for the cleansing blood of Jesus, promising to help her, to pray for her, and to instruct her in the way of the Lord? Amen. Well, then, Lyndon Joy Harima, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son. <laughs> In the Holy Spirit. <laughs> She's dodging me. <laughs> Let's pray for the Haramas. Lord, we just thank you so much for Adam and Kaylee, for entrusting them with this beautiful child, for Lyndon Joy. We just thank you for all the joy we know she's already brought and all the joy you're going to bring through her all the days of her life. We just pray, God, that you would walk with these parents as they walk with her towards you, Jesus. We look forward to that day when she places her faith in you. We love you, Jesus, and we pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Thanks, guys. TJ and Jackie Comian and their little ones, Jackson Thomas and Parker John. We are so very thankful and blessed to have two sons. God has been incredibly faithful and by our side with our journey through fertility trials. We both grew up in a Christian home. TJ and I will continue to instill Christ-likeness to our boys. A quote I have in the nursery that I love is, the greatest contribution to the kingdom of God may not be something you do, but in someone you raise. We look forward to raising our boys in the church family and teaching them God's promises. Amen. Well, Jackie's already a pro mom of twins. She just came up and whispered, this is Parker right here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, TJ and Jackie, do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, promising to live as his followers and as members of Christ's church? 
And do you acknowledge both Jackson and Parker's need for the cleansing blood of Jesus, promising to help them, pray for them, and instruct them in the way of the Lord? All right, we're gonna go with Parker first. Well, Parker, John, Comion, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go take care of your brother and then we'll pray for you. All right, Jackson Thomas, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's pray for TJ and Jackie and their beautiful boys here. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this wonderful family that you've entrusted with two of your special sons, God. Uh, we just thank you for the blessing, their experience. We pray that you give them strength uh, for the days ahead. And more than anything, God, we pray that these two boys would grow up to be mighty men of God who follow you with all the days of their lives. We pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Awesome. And Forbes family, why don't you guys come on up? I get the privilege of baptizing some adults with their kids. We got a couple of father sons here with us today, Josh and Wyatt. Yeah, I changed my shirt just for you. <laughs> Man, when you stick the dress shirt into the into the tank there, you get I've learned over time. I get I get better at this all the time. Awesome. Josh, we're gonna have you go ahead and step on in. Josh Forbes. I grew up hearing about Jesus and how to live a life that was honoring to him. I was surrounded by family that always pointed me to Jesus, and as a young boy, I was saved at my grandmother's house. I remember that moment, but nothing noticeably changed or felt different at that time. As I grew up and life changed, I slowly went down a path of life that was not so God-honoring. I lived a life filled with sin and had false idols placed before God. It wasn't until my life was turned upside down that I found the overwhelming presence of God. During that low point of life, I was finally able to set aside my weakness, fear, pride, and sinful life and surrender it all to God. I found that I was never alone and that he had always been by my side, softly, gently, and patiently calling me back to him. I am set free because Jesus paid for each and every one of my sins on the cross. Today, I'm taking the next step to show I am all in. Amen. Josh Forbes, do you believe in Jesus as your Lord, your Savior, and your treasure? Amen. Praise God. Well, then, brother, we baptize you today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Awesome. I'm going to have you hang out right here while we get to baptize Wyatt as well. Emily, you might get a little wet in this thing. This is going to be fun. <laughs> awesome. You can use the towel. It's okay. Go feel free. <laughs> Wyatt Bradley. As pursued children of God ourselves, we have been blessed to be chosen by God to be part of his family. He saved us at our lowest and called us to be set apart from the world. We are blessed to have this baby boy and believe he has an advantage in growing up in the church. We know it is our calling to do what we can to bring him to Christ and live a life set apart. We named him Wyatt, which means brave warrior, as we hope to raise him as a warrior for God's kingdom. We are thankful to be here with the Sword of Peace Church to baptize Wyatt into the covenant of God. Awesome. All right. Well, it's our privilege today to get to baptize Wyatt Forbes as well. You ready, buddy? You just got to see dad do it. Wyatt, we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Can I pray for both of you? Father God, we thank you for Josh and for Wyatt and for Emily. God, we thank you for what you are doing in their lives. God, we thank you for the cross of Jesus, for his blood that takes away our sin. God, I pray that you would be with this family, help them to follow you faithfully. God, I pray that you'd fill their lives with joy in Jesus and that you would be glorified in them. We love you so much, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Congratulations, guys.
All right, we got the Glupker family coming up next. Trevor and Lucian. Trevor Glupker. Before September of last year, I did not know the Bible. I never went to church. I never prayed. My marriage and my business were falling apart. It seemed like things were only getting worse every day. In August, we found out we were expecting another child. and September 21st, we lost it. Seeming more defeated than ever, I broke down. I was ready to give up everything. I locked myself away from everyone to be alone. I dropped to my knees, and it was the first time in my life I tried talking to God, asking why this was happening and what I should do. I had this feeling come over me of relief and kept hearing in my head to not give up. I knew I had to get to a church immediately. September 25th, we came to peace, and I was just there to listen. That's when Pastor Ryan came out to give his sermon and said that he had changed his planned sermon. The sermon he gave ended up being about what a man, a father, and a husband should be in God's image. It was exactly what I needed to hear, and I knew I was in the right place. I instantly jumped into the men's Bible study to learn more and surround myself with good Christian men. My life did a complete 180 with the Holy Spirit guiding me. I continue to grow in my faith every day with prayer and studying the Bible. I also plan to be involved more with the church as we start the Wayland campus and hopefully lead other men to Christ and lead Bible groups someday. Amen. Praise God for your story, Trevor. It's an exciting moment. Let me ask you one question. Do you believe in Jesus as your Lord, your Savior, and your treasure? Amen. Praise God. Well, let me baptize you this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Woo! All right, Lucian, what do you think? Oh, it's okay. You're not going to get quite as wet as dead. <laughs> Come on in here, man. Lucian James Glubker. We have seen the power of the Holy Spirit work to redeem my husband and mend our family after, after a time of suffering, trials, and tribulations. We don't want Lucian to have to endure what we did. Today we are excited to make a commitment to raise Lucian under the guidance of our Lord and Savior who has called us into his family. As said in Proverbs 22, verse 6, train up a child in the way he should go, and even when he is old, he will not depart from it. With the support of our Peace Church family that was designed by God, we feel we can honor this commitment for our son. Amen. Lucian today. Oh, just a little bit of water. Is that all right? Here we go. We baptize Lucian in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, good job, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let me pray for you guys. Father, we thank you this morning for what you are doing in the lives of Trevor and Amelia and Lucian. God, I thank you for Jesus who took away their sin, and God, we give you all the glory God, may you continue to work powerfully in their lives that they would follow faithfully after you, whatever would happen, whatever this life would bring, and may you be glorified in their lives. God, thank you so much for what you were doing in their family. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' powerful name, amen. Amen. Praise God, guys. Hey, buddy. All right, J.J. Harris, come on up. J.J. Harris. I'm being raised in a Christian home, so I've always known Jesus. When I was young, my baby brother was diagnosed with cancer. I was sad and scared, but God healed my brother and my faith grew. As I got older, we attended a small church that didn't have a youth group. Since coming to Peace Church, I've grown even more in my faith. I love Sundays going to church, relaxing and attending youth group. It's so much fun meeting new people at church. I want to be baptized because Jesus died for me to take away my sins. And this is another big step in my faith journey. Awesome. JJ, I have just one question for you. Do you believe in Jesus as your Lord, your Savior, and your treasure? Amen. Praise God. We baptize you this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Awesome. Praise God. JJ, can I pray for you real quick before you take off? Let me pray for you. Father God, we thank you so much for what you're doing in the life of JJ. God, I pray that you would continue that work, draw him close to you. May he live a life that is faithful and glorifying to you. And may he also share the gospel with many that they would also come to saving faith in Jesus. Pray this all in his name. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. All right. I was holding it together until I saw John Sr. crying. Now I'm crying, John. It's beautiful to watch your son. Praise God. All right. We're going to bring up the next group of infants to be baptized now. Andrew and Kristen Lockwood and their girls Tilly Jean and Lucy Joy. Being baptized as infants and raised in families that were guided by dedicated church members gave us both great examples throughout our lives of how we wanted to be as Christian parents. We want both of our daughters to have the same opportunity to experience the love and fellowship of a Christian family that we had in our childhood church homes. We view today as another milestone in their faith journey and a public display of our promise to be godly role models throughout their lives. All right, amen. We got two girls here, Tilly Jean and then Lucy Joy. So Tilly, we're gonna start with you, but first I got some questions for your parents, okay? That'll just be a little bit of water, all right? Okay, give me some time to think about it. <laughs> well, Andrew and Kristen, do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, promising to live as his followers and as members of Christ's church? And do you acknowledge Tilly and Lucy's need for the cleansing blood of Jesus, promising to help them, to pray for them, and to instruct them in the way of the Lord? We do. All right. Well, Tilly Jean, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Great job. All right, we're gonna come over here for Lucy Joy. Lucy Joy Lockwood, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let's pray for the Lockwoods. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for Andrew and Kristen and for these beautiful girls that you've given to them. Thank you for the blessing that children are. And thank you for the blessing that parents who love the Lord are um, to children. God, we just pray for Tilly and for Lucy that you would raise them up to be women of God who love you and who follow you for all the days of their lives. We bring this all to you. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Brant and Megan Mercer and their little one, Bodie Henry. God has always been present in our lives. However, becoming parents has been a true blessing and the process to get to this point has brought us closer to him. Trusting God and knowing he will provide our ways in which we keep our faith strong. We hope to show our child how merciful and great our Lord is by teaching him to be unconditionally faithful. Through outward prayer and the church's teaching, we wish to guide our son and allow him to, be, to find his own path to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bodie, I got to say, you're rocking those suspenders. Not many of us can pull them off, but you look good, buddy. I love it. Well, Brant and Megan, just going to ask you a couple questions. Do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, promising to live as his followers and as members of his church? And do you acknowledge Bodie's need for the cleansing blood of Jesus, promising to help him, to pray for him, and to instruct him in the way of the Lord? Amen. Well, Bodie Henry Mercer, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let's pray for the Mercers. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful family um, and for the gift that Bodhi is. Just thank you for the joy we can already see on his face and pray that he would just be a light for Jesus uh, for all the days of his life. We look forward to that day, Lord. We pray that you would just open up his mind and heart to know and to love and to follow you all the days of his life. We pray this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jay and Rebecca Newick and their son, Anderson J. My husband and I's faith is so important to us, and we know we wouldn't, and we know we wouldn't be where we are today as a couple and as individuals without the love and grace of God. We have been so blessed with our son, Anderson, and we want to ensure he knows the same love and grace 
that God and the church has to offer. We pray God leads us to be strong Christian parents for our son so he grows up knowing the sacrifice Jesus paid on the cross for him and all of us and how incredibly loved he is by God and strives to live his life with God by his side. We are so excited to have our son enter into this promise of new life with Christ. Amen. Amen. Well, Jay and Rebecca, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, promising to live as his followers and as members of Christ's church? And do you acknowledge Anderson's need for the cleansing blood of Jesus, promising to help him, pray for him, and instruct him in the way of the Lord? Well, Anderson J. Newick, we baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's a good sleeper. He went right through it. Is he a good sleeper? I don't want to assume anything. Okay. <laughs> Let's pray for Jay and Rebecca. Lord, we thank you so much for the Newick family. We thank you for blessing them with Anderson. And Lord, I know that they recognize the privilege and the responsibility it is to raise Anderson up in your way as God. So just help them, bless them, sustain and empower them to every day of Anderson's life for them to just point to you, Jesus. And we look forward to the day when he makes the decision to follow you. We love you, Lord, and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Nate and Brianna Post and their son, Nolan Ryan. My wife and I believe that God sent his one and only son to die on the cross so that we may live eternally with him. God has shown us time and time again his grace. We want to share the goodness of God with our children. By getting our children baptized, we want to show him the promise that God gave to us and that our son belongs to God. We want to show our son what a Christian is, but we are far from perfect and need the church's help in guiding our son on his faith journey. Awesome. Well, Nate and Brianna, and we have Clara here. Hi, Clara. Hi. <laughs> and Charlotte as well. Hi, Charlotte. Hi. Yeah. Isn't this crazy? Look at all these people. It's kind of fun. And then Nolan Ryan Post. Big name to live up to. I love it. Nolan Ryan. Wasn't on purpose. Not on purpose. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, Nate and Brianna. Do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, promising to live as his followers and as members of Christ's church? We do. And do you acknowledge Nolan's need for the cleansing blood of Jesus, promising to help him, pray for him, and instruct him in the way of the Lord? We do. Awesome. I know Charlotte and Clara and Brooklyn as well will be helping to point Nolan towards Jesus. So Nolan, Ryan Post, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's pray for the posts. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Nate and Brianne, and we thank you for their three beautiful girls and the joy of bringing a son into this world, Lord. We just thank you for Nolan. Uh, we just pray that you would be with him, that you would walk with him, and that someday you would reveal yourself to him fully so he knows you as his Lord and as a Savior, as the treasure of his life. We love you, Jesus, and we pray this all in your name. Amen. Amen. All right. Brett and Courtney Smith and their son, Hendrix Lee. My wife was baptized as an infant at Peace Church while I was baptized as an adult. We have both at different times in our lives come to know God and know that through our faith in Him alone, we are saved. We are blessed to continue to be a part of the Peace Church family and to raise our children in this community. We commit to raising our children in a Christ-centered home and to teaching them the good news. Amen. Well, Brett and Courtney, and we got big sister Reese here. Hi, Reese. Yeah, yeah, she's <laughs> not, you're here. She's like, I'm here, let's not push it. Uh, we got Hendrix here, and I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. <laughs> so, Brett and Courtney, do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, promising to live as his followers and as members of Christ's church? And do you acknowledge Hendrix's need for the cleansing blood of Jesus, promising to help him, pray for him, and instruct him in the way of the Lord? 
Well, with that, Hendrix Lee Smith, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let's pray for this family. Lord, we thank you for Brett and Courtney. We thank you for Reese and for Hendrix. And we thank you, God, that you knew the plans for this family before the foundations of the world. You created them and loved them. And this morning, we just especially thank you for Hendrix's life. We thank you that you have blessed him with a wonderful family. And Lord, we just pray that someday you would reveal yourself to him so he would know you as his Lord and as his Savior. We love you, Jesus, and we pray all this in your name. Amen. Amen. Good job, Reese. Kyle and Jessica Van Kamen and their little one, Oakley Joe. We were both raised in loving Christian families and baptized as infants. We both, at different points in our lives, realized that we are sinners in need of a Savior and professed our faith in Christ, believing that what he did for us on the cross saves us completely. We pray that we can show God's love to our children and that he will make himself known to them and save them. We can't do this by ourselves, but rely on God and his church to lead us and guide us as we teach our children about him. Amen. Kyle and Jessica, and we got big sister Georgie here too. Hey, she's interested in that piano. It's pretty cool. Future musician here. Well, Oakley Joe, we're so glad to have you here, even though you don't really know what's going on right now, but God does, and we as your family do. So, Kyle and Jessica, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, promising to live as his followers and as members of Christ's church? And do you acknowledge Oakley's need for the cleansing blood of Jesus, promising to help her, to pray for her, and to instruct her in the way of the Lord? With that, Oakley Joe... Van Kamen, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's pray for the Van Kamens. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Kyle and Jessica and Georgie, and we thank you especially this morning for Oakley Joe. We thank you for blessing them with two beautiful daughters, and we pray that you would sustain and strengthen them as they raise these girls to know and follow you. That is our prayer this morning, God, that for, for Oakley Joe and for all that are baptized, that you just continue to start them on a journey here, following you all the days of their lives. We pray you would bless the Van Cannons. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, we are now going to go to a short time where all of us get to participate. So I'd like to ask those of you who are able, would you please stand with me now? And we've seen how God's working in these families, but God's also going to work in this family, the family of Peace Church. And I know many of you who are visiting, who are extended families, maybe you're a member of another church. God has a role for all of us to play. And these uh, young people, students, and these adults' lives. So um, I'm going to ask you a question to make a promise back. This is a vow to those who are being baptized today. And if you agree at the end, I'll ask you to say we do. So do you, members of this congregation, promise to love, to encourage, to support, to instruct, and to pray for these brothers and sisters in the Lord as together we seek to follow Jesus? If so, say we do. We do. Amen. Thank you.